Hello, I'm Jamie Edwards, one of your instructional designers, and welcome to the Online Instructor Certificate course. Over the next 10 weeks, our staff at Distance Education will help you develop an online Blackboard course which maximizes your teaching skills and incorporates best practices and techniques to keep your students actively engaged. This course runs as a hybrid course, that is, some weeks we will meet face-to-face, -face, while others will be purely online. Our hope is to expose you to the wide variety of delivery techniques so you can have a better grasp of what your students might experience in your own courses. With that in mind, our first week is completely online. Each week we will cover topics associated with course development and progressively throughout the semester work with you to create or redevelop content that focuses on instructor and student engagement leading to student success. The Online Instructor Certificate course was developed to provide faculty with the necessary contact and skills needed to develop courses to be offered at a distance. This program, over the last year and a half, has assisted dozens of faculty members in the course design process. This course is not about Blackboard. Although we will be working in Blackboard, it is on you as the instructor to familiarize yourself with the current resources available and learn how to manipulate Blackboard to work for you. This is a course about pedagogical aspects of teaching online. Some aspects covered in the course are digital copyright issues, course design and navigation, developing online activities, incorporating developmental writing into your course, engaging your students, and so much more. Every week you will be asked to complete reading assignments, participate in discussions, keep a weekly journal for self-reflection, explore potential Blackboard features and online services, and develop elements for your online course. The navigation of this course is laid out through a series of buttons and folders. We use the Start Here page as the entry point for the course to present what the course is about, descriptions and links to all of the resources available to online students, helpful tools such as the time clock converter for students in different time zones, and then lead you into the first assignment. The first item you will see is the welcome message. As instructors, we want to break the silence and introduce ourselves to the class. Using a video is a great way to give students a greater representation of you as an instructor by seeing your face and hearing your voice. We will work on your welcome video in the coming weeks. In the Start Here section, we have compiled a list of resources all students should be aware of. You may not use these resources in your particular course, but you may lead students to resources they were not previously aware of. We will encourage all of you to add these resources to your course for the benefit of your students. Be sure that you have your computer software up to date. This will include browser, Java, and Flash updates. You can find these links inside the Start Here section titled Blackboard Resources. The Instructor Contact button will lead you to your points of contact in this course. Navigate through the Interactive Syllabus in the Course Documents button to review all of the objectives, policies, and relevant information associated with the Online Instructor Certificate course. The home page is primarily for student view to flag new and unread content. The majority of the course content is in the Weekly Modules folder and is separated by weekly folders. Inside these folders you will find weekly agendas and due dates as well as weekly readings and weekly assignments folders. Weekly readings will consist of assigned reading, e-reserves, or videos associated with the weekly content. Weekly assignments will house each detailed assignment and submission link. E-reserves link to digital copies of course reading material linked from the library or other external resources. Discussion boards link directly to the discussion board tool and is used to facilitate discussions throughout the course. Journals are used to track weekly progress and to individually communicate and reflect on weekly topics with the instructional designers. The Tools button links to the available tools within Blackboard. They include engaging tools like discussion boards, wikis, blogs, and journals. You can also email classmates, create contacts, announcements, develop a course calendar, and gain access to external research tools like Merlot. The Grades and Feedback button link to currently graded items. You can view your progress here. Blackboard Collaborate is a web conferencing tool that can be used for synchronous and asynchronous meetings, presentations, and collaborations. We encourage you to practice with this tool because we will use it often. 
Tegrity is a lecture capture tool used for viewing and recording presentations, lectures, with video and audio. It is a valuable tool for creating focused presentations and time-saving content. You will use this video to create your own welcome message in this course. This course is fast-paced, so you will need to dedicate several hours each week outside of the classroom to fully comprehend all of the information within the course. Treat it much like you would treat a graduate-level course. Please review the syllabus for scheduled meetings and times. You should always come prepared for these meetings by reading and or viewing the required materials prior to our face-to-face -face session. You can expect to read between 20 and 60 pages of varied text each week, from online blogs to research studies to textbook chapters. There are a few weekly assignments that must be completed midweek, as indicated on the course schedule, but most assignments will be due each Sunday evening at the end of the day. You are also required to meet with an instructional designer at least four times throughout this course. You can contact your designated instructional designer to set up your initial consultation. More information will be provided at our first face-to-face -face session. Every week of the course, you will complete a variety of tasks that will help you achieve the course and module level objectives. The amount and type of activities and assessments is based on the objectives and the resulting workload. Ultimately, the goal is to have your development site as close to finish as possible. Although you will not generate all course content by completing only the tasks assigned in this course. Grades are all or nothing. You will either earn a 1 or a 0 depending on your performance. How you will be assessed on each task is detailed in the weekly agenda of each module. Some tasks are essentially completion only, that is if you do them as directed you will earn one point. Other tasks require more depth and will be scored based on the quality of your performance. Using the Quality Matters rubric standards, the instructional designers will evaluate your achievement of nationally recognized industry standards and will in turn offer feedback to further advance your course design. It is not expected that you meet every standard upon initial review, but rather through constructive feedback are able to continually improve the quality of your course design so that by the end of the course you will have met many essential quality matter standards. This class will test you in one aspect or another, but it is important to remain vigilant and consistent over the next 10 weeks. The instructional designers are available for any needs or questions, so open that line of communication early and we will make time to assist you. We strive to make this course a rewarding experience and we want all of you to become more successful online instructors. Participation and attendance is key. You will also want to successfully complete all of the weekly tasks. Apply the appropriate feedback when needed. Submit or resubmit items before the checkpoint expires. You will need to conduct four instructional design consults before the end of the 10 weeks. You will need to achieve 85% for the course. And please maintain professionalism with instructors and peers. The discussion board is a course-long virtual lounge where you can ask and answer questions about the class or add material if you feel appropriate for the class discussion. This is a great way to break the ice and begin communication with each other and bridge the dissonance associated with online courses. For your initial discussion, go into the faculty lounge link on the Start Here page and create a thread. Begin by introducing yourself here and welcoming others into our community of learners. Consider these questions. What do you teach? What do you hope to get out of this class? What experience do you have with online learning either as a student or an instructor? Do you want to share anything that is especially valuable, meaningful, insightful, or just witty? And it doesn't have to relate only to education. Although a text-based response is acceptable, we encourage you to try out something new or fresh such as adding an image of yourself or recording the message via webcam. Feel free to share any personal information you're comfortable with. This will help everyone in the course to get to know you a little bit better. Please feel free to explore the course as we have laid everything out for you. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us by clicking the instructor contact button to access our email and phone numbers. Good luck, and we look forward to seeing you in class.